Hey guys, it's FIFA Relic here and welcome to a skill squad builder around two of this week's very cool informed players. We got the informed Chikawi from the team of the tournament and then we do have informed Depay from team of the week and when both of those were released i had to build a squad around them and um, yeah let's get into the team it's a bit of a skill squad so in the net we do have a brazilian goalkeeper and he's the type of goalkeeper for some people he's absolutely terrible and for other people he's actually really good and for me he's the latter he seems to perform really well and he pulled off some amazing saves for me so yeah for me he he was a good goalkeeper now moving on to the center back spots we do have Quite a bit of pace. Felipe Santana, the transferred version, 80 pace, 78 defending, and 74 physical, and he's quite tall. Just like previous FIFAs, he is just um, a very, very strong center back to go with. And alongside him, we do have Antonio Ferreira, and also 80 pace on him, so not gonna lie, very fast center back combination and they are mainly there to link up with my two center mids uh who are kind of tying the entire squad together on the right back we do have informed danilo and to be fair i would just say go with his regular card i mean of course it's a little bit better than the regular one but i mean 110k for right back um i'd say he's not worth that amount of coins and his regular card is just as good a player to go with in my opinion but i want to give the informer go and i mean he's okay but in the future i'll probably just go with his regular card left back would we have villains four star skills four star weak foot and of course he got that and club and nation link to the pie which is so very strong so um yeah, de definitely a player I always go with when I play with the pie. Now moving on to the left center mid, we do have in form Afelai, and he links up with the players from the Netherlands and transferred to Felipe Santana. Now he didn't get any goals, but full star skills, full star weak foot, and his shot was actually really good. I tried out a few long shots, and they had like that dipping effect you want from long shots. Unfortunately, it didn't go into the back of the net, however. And uh, yeah, he didn't score any goals because the majority of the play went through all the skillers I had in my team, of course. So uh, yeah, moving on to the right center mid, we have a five star skiller in Vitinho. He got the high defensive work rate as well, which is quite nice. Makes him stay back a little bit, and uh, I used the instructions to also make. Athelai stay back so you sort of have defensive skillers in some way which I quite like for sort of a skill squad just to play for fun with because then you have so many options around the pitch on the right wing we do have Kelvin five star skills and uh, I guess he might not be as good as last year but he still scored some pretty pretty good goals for me and finally on the center attacking mid we have that club and nation link to Chikawi with Chiametti and um you could go with more creative links up to Chikawi, but when building a skill squad, I think Chemeti is the player to go with because it just makes it so much easier to get more skillers into the side. Um, so yeah, he's in on the center attacking mid, on the strikers, but of course Chikawi, five star skills, five star weak foot, only five goals in 12 games, not exactly the best. I did struggle a little bit in the start, which annoyed me because his regular card has been amazing for me. He scored me a bunch of skill goals, but eventually I picked it up and scored some pretty awesome goals with him. And he's definitely a fun player to use. And then Depay in on the left wing, also getting five goals and one assist. And uh, yeah, he got some really good free kicks, long shots, and feels good on the ball and... Um, of course, all of these goals were mainly skill goals, me trying to get some cool shots in with them, and uh, they did provide, and I'd say, I'd say competitive, this squad it might not be the best, but just for fun, play with skill moves, and, and just have fun with FIFA, this squad is really fun to go with, and... Uh, I would sort of categorize Chikawi and Depay as cheap informed skillers. Now, what I mean by that is you have your Ronaldo's and Neymar's, which are just like impossible to afford but Chikawi he's like I don't know 70k or something like that and eventually he'll probably be 50 or 40k so he's like he's not breaking the bank if you want to pick up an informed skiller and then you have to buy a little bit more expensive but then again you might be able to get him for 100 to 150k at the end of the week so I mean those are players which at this point in time should be sort of affordable for most players and if you want to try out sort of an informed skill squad, they're definitely players I would recommend because they're really fun to play with. And uh, yeah, you can link them up with a bunch of skillers like use Chemeti and Chikawi on the center of the pitch and use Willems and Depay. And then you can just add in skillers around them basically and everybody will have full chemistry. So 
Um, like they got some 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 nice links you could use, and they are not too expensive for inform skillers. So, yeah, I would definitely say if you are looking to build sort of an inform skill squad uh, and just a squad to have fun with, I'd say something like this would be a really good recommendation. And if you want to take a little bit step step further, you could probably replace Kelvin with Quadrado and Vitinho with uh, inform Matias Fernandez, uh, just to have another inform skill in, which is not too expensive. And Quadrado, of course, a very good player as well. But overall, yeah. This squad was very, very fun to play with. Had a bunch of skillers in. You could do skillers pretty much everywhere on the pitch. I did struggle a little bit in the start to get Chikawi into the play. It was actually the Pai scoring most of the goals. And after that, I sort of had to force the play a little bit onto Chikawi. But eventually, he showed up and scored some pretty cool goals. And uh, that is pretty much also where this video comes to an end. I hope you guys did enjoy the goals and the squad. And that is pretty much all. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys later.